Well, some of the most important tools to fight coronavirus are right here in our own backyard from producing thousands and thousands of face shields to cover N95 masks, making them last longer, to sterilizing those masks starting next week. The global medical device manufacturer DeRoyal, based here in Knoxville, is going through what its president and CEO calls a bittersweet boom in business. I talked with Brian DeBusk about DeRoyal's role in these extraordinarily tough times. DeRoyal makes a wide range of products from wound care to surgical items. Now it's changing to meet new demands, seeing a huge increase in requests for face shields due to the shortage of N95 masks. So what we're seeing is they're using a reusable, uh, they're using the N95 disposable mask, but they're reusing it, but to preserve that mask so that it could last, for example, an entire shift, they're now incorporating a complete face shield that goes from forehead to chin. So we've seen a dramatic increase in that as well. We've set up manufacturing cells in two different states to make these face shields. We need to be making at least 40 to 60,000 per week, but we also have an automation team with their engineers working on accelerating that process and being able to make face shields in a more automated way as well. Face shields are made of a special form of plastic. One obstacle to making fabric personal protection equipment is the fact that most of it comes from China. The problem here is that the Chinese supply chain, not only is it disrupted, but they're still keeping a lot of that personal protective gear for their own use and for their own needs. So you're seeing disruption in the manufacturing but you're also seeing disruption in the exporting and even disruption in the raw materials themselves. A lot of these raw materials, for example, the SMS fabric that's used in lots of personal protection equipment, the vast majority of that's made in China. So even if we began sewing, for example, the isolation gowns, we wouldn't be able to get the, the materials for it because they also are sourced out of China. It's very frustrating. There is a shortage right now of the N95 filter material that's used in these masks. But even the simple surgical masks, the materials that are used there largely come out of China and they have some filtration properties. I think it's wonderful that people are trying to sew masks right now and clearly a cloth mask is better than no mask. But I think we really need to exercise some caution here on how and when those products are used. Because the a, a surgical or medical grade mask can't easily be substituted for something that's made out of traditional materials like cotton. DeRoyal doesn't make the N95 masks mainly because of that, but it is playing an important role in making sure reusing them is as safe as possible. Sterilizing them in one of its units in Taswell. Starting next week, one of our distributors is going to be sending us reprocessed N95 masks to be, to be sterilized in those chambers. So we're already looking at how even our sterilization process could be adapted to accommodate some of this personal protection equipment and the reuse of some of that PPE. Now there's even more. DeRoyal has also just reprogrammed 1,200 surgical wound care devices to become portable suction devices for use in makeshift hospitals, places like gymnasiums. Uh, Brian DeBus says the medical supply industry also needs to be prepared for a possible resurgence of coronavirus in the fall when the weather cools down. But he says we will get through this.